All right, I'll, I'll actually start implementing this now. So, right, let's uh, let's start with the ordering of equipment because we're keeping track of this data in a few ways that are. Um, We're keeping track of this data in a few ways, but what we really want is like one central, like one real clincher. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry, come in yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> it just occurred to me if hypothetically, if I rename a, um, if I rename an item, it could mess stuff up. So, I might want to, before I do this, I might want to start, I might want to do like a quick pass to like lock down naming conventions just so, so to avoid that situation. Specifically, one of the things I'd considered, like, I don't think it's going to be likely, like what's an example, like let's say, let's say, <sighs> I honestly, I, I can't think of a situation where something in two different slots would be named the same thing. Like, what if you get, what if you have like a, uh, a cat? What if, what if one of the items you get in your hand is a cat and you get to hold a cat and carry a cat around, right? Okay. Hypothetically, let's say there's an item called cat and you carry it around. If you get a familiar, like if you, if one of your pets is also named cat, that would screw up the system because the system right now, it just goes by item name. It doesn't go, it doesn't like subdivide it by slot. Like it, the, like the, like the, essentially the, <laughs> um, essentially it's like, you can have like, because of like the, I mean, these are just folders. So like I could, like there's something called shoes. There's an item called shoes in the feet folder, which is sensible. But if I put something called shoes in the hands folder, like the system would like, it wouldn't, to a certain extent, it couldn't tell what I meant when I talk, was talking about shoes. So I might want to change that. Um, I might want to change it so that items are not just called by their item name, but by like, you know, instead of, so instead of like, instead of like just shoes, it would be called feet slash shoes, kind of like, you know, referencing the full file path. Um, I might want to do that just in case, like if, if I'm going to make that change, I might want to do it before I do this thing to the uh, other stuff. And it would be kind of nice just for peace of mind. Uh, nah, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I thought I might care, but as it turns out, I don't care. <laughs> so, so is there anything else that I need here? Oh, yeah. Oh. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like how to re how to like what's the best way to like get this information out of uh How do I like how, using the so okay so I'm already keeping track of the the levels of various equipment in a list. So basically the list of the, the, the order of the, the, um, so if there's a list of equipment, uh, we have, um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do this the, the simplest way. I was just thinking, yay, congratulations. <laughs> Come in, yeah. Oh, what, did you get a blue cap? Cause that is the, uh, I think that's the next one, right? Oh, not yet. Okay. Uh, you do have a lot of experience points. I, w I would not be surprised if you were in the lead right now, as it were. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, 
The um so the, your experience points show show up when you uh after you participate in an event. So uh the yeah, so th I guess there's a Oh yeah, well that was one thing that I was going to uh that I was thinking of adding in was uh I was going to add in a um it's on the list. It's I'm, I wasn't going to do it yet, but I was basically like there there's not going to be a way to check, but there's going to be um like spontaneously like that information will come up because uh yeah, but like what, all throughout testing, like the event system was like so rapid fire that like your like name tags were constantly popping up, and you always knew what your score was because like your name tag would show your score like like very frequently. But um, yeah, now that the event system is like at a, a calmer pace, then uh, I um uh the, so the uh the, the name tags are gonna pop pop up spontaneously. The reason that there's no command to do it is because I don't want the chat to get spammy like one of the things that's been very important to me is to make this project in such a way that it can it can play in this chat channel and like there will be the events and sometimes when the events come around like there will be a a moment wherein you know these commands uh show up with a with a higher frequency but you know it's it's just they they'll only be punctuating what is otherwise like a consistent um you know natural uh conversation for the chat channel um so uh yeah uh that, that's so actually that's next yeah so after i add this in i'll probably start adding in the spontaneous name tags thing because that would be nice um for one thing it's, it's just kind of nice when the name tags pop up i don't know i just kind of like that and so then having the uh having that happen will also be another way to uh so you, you know you'll just have a stronger sense of your your score at any given time uh um i mean i could do i could do other things too if i felt like it like um like the the little text ticker that I put right here, like right underneath the camera, is um, like if I kept uh, if I kept track of player experience in a text file, like I could read um, from a text file just to blit on uh, through OBS, like or not even like yeah, not even through like Pygame, but just to, like to uh, to like just show it on screen. That's that's another thing that I could do. Uh, I don't know. We'll. Uh, <laughs> We can uh we can get creative. Oh cool. Oh weird. Why is that, Kaminiac? I've never i I've never heard of that before. Like mine animates all the time. Yeah. Mine did you wait, did you intend to do that? Because if you intended to do that, that's pretty cool. If you didn't intend to do that, then I have no clue what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh i've talked about this plenty so now i'm going to start implementing it uh so this is going to be in the oh let me just look at what how i'm referencing this data slots ordered yeah all right so uh <laughs> that is by far the most uh the most uh popular uh action tag is uh <laughs> is that one just in terms of of uh of comments <laughs> people have made <laughs> um oh so a fun fact about multi is if you if you change your mind about something you can you can say the action tag again and it'll act as like a toggle so like if you say if you say like ride declare but then you're like oh wait no i didn't actually mean to declare you can say declare again and it'll it'll basically like take you off the list. Uh, so, yeah, fun fact. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, what was I? What was I gonna do? <laughs> right now, I'm adding this thing. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Just a little, just a little, just ever so lightly distracted. All right, so when we're adding in a player. We load in their experience at some point. Oh, yeah, right. So, for one thing... All right, so adventurers are now going to have two other things. They're going to have... Uh, they're going to have experience. They're going to have... Uh, uh, oh, they already have level. All right, so level I don't need to add. I'll just add in... Uh, uh, top gear. <laughs> Is going to be the name of uh, <laughs> this thing that I'm adding in. 
It's the highest, uh, the highest level thing that you ever encountered. Uh, wait, what was the, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, hark. <laughs> yeah, hark means listen. <laughs> um, uh, I just put that in there so that, uh, there's something eye-catching when, uh, when, um, when that comes up in chat <laughs> just so it's because like there's trusty bard and he has a sword and everything but uh i just wanted to make sure it was yeah i could take that out if it gets annoying uh i just uh <laughs> not very many people start their sentences with hark like today in 2014 so i figured if i started sentences with hark it would be it would be distinct it, you wouldn't see it, it wouldn't get confusing with other people saying hark all the time uh yeah <laughs> secret unicorn level i um so i there's an event uh yeah there's i just like with wizard hats i can be fairly certain that there will be unicorns in this game i can say with like virtually 100 percent certainty that there will be unicorns in this game um yeah so so the way that that's an interesting question, Zero, because, like, um, right, the, so the events that are happening right now are, um, they're all, like, I've been, I've been focused on other things, so I haven't really been doing live events much. Um, basically what I, the, the, the events are, like, in the, the events in the system right now, are, those are all just, like, the, uh, those are these here, and I just made, like, 15 events that, um, like, those events just play, if I'm not paying attention, they just, like, you know, they'll just, uh, like the the system will take control. If I'm paying attention, I can um, I have my secret panel where I can um, I can write these events live. Like um, yeah. So so to answer your question, like so the game can be literally just played live. Like I could literally just take control and like the, then the robot wouldn't be doing anything really. The robot would just be like repeating what I say or like you know basically just executing and running the calculations and managing the experience system and all that for the game as I, um, as I'm, I'm, as I'm like, you know, acting out as the, the game master. But, um, yeah, also the, uh, the, this list of events that I have here, I plan on expanding that, like the backgrounds, the character art and the events, like the prescripted events, like those are all very, um, like I set them up so that like each of these are just like a text file. So in order to make new events, I just have to like write more text files. So, um, yeah, that is definitely something that I plan to do. Um, I, uh, I can, I can continue doing that. Like, you know, whenever I come up with new events, I can just like drop them in there. And, uh, <laughs> wait, why would coconuts migrate? <laughs> is this a, is this a riddle? Um, <laughs> or did I just tune out a chat for a little while? Uh, so, uh, oh, migrating coconuts. <laughs> I like that. Um, yeah, so most of the uh, the ancillary features like that, uh, I you know, there's a lot of things that I will want to add to this game, uh, and uh, so the the feature like the, the the biggest thing for me so far has been I want it for every feature I want to add I, I want to add it in a way that it will not be disruptive. So, uh, I uh, yeah guilds yeah that all right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that, um, that one seems popular, so I'll have to, I'll have to keep that one high on the list. I'll, um, yeah. Uh, right, so yeah, we were looking at the event system. I'm doing, like, everything I can to avoid, like, implementing this feature. Oh, wait, no, I did start to implement it, because there's the, now the top gear field, so. <laughs> so now, um, we, we, so now we have to, so this is going to be, like, a little chicken and egg sort of thing, because, uh. I guess, um, yeah, I'll just, uh, cause like I'm technically I'm changing like the format of like the save data. So I'll just have to make sure I account for that. Um, I mean, it, cause it'd be easier just to wipe the data right now, but I think I can count for it fairly easily. Worst case scenario, I have to wipe the data, but, um, I think I can account for that pretty easily. Uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
um, yeah, if I um, if I get good at stuff, like I I'm not a web developer like at all, but if I can figure out like some web development fundamentals, I kind of want to add in like an online control panel for this game, because that would make it way there'd be so many things you could do in that control panel that that you wouldn't have to spam chat with like commands and stuff so i don't know that that's like a that's a little bit grandiose because like i don't even know how feasible it would be for me to hook up something like that i know i know i definitely want to do it but i i have no clue like for all i know that's basically impossible i have no clue (laughs) all right so when we're adding in a player we're reading an experience yeah right so so right now we're just hard setting uh experience to be that so we're gonna start instead uh uh so uh yeah yeah but then like so there's tricky stuff about it too because like there's like twitch login like because if this is a web panel it has you have to log in with your twitch account so like i know like I really shouldn't have even mentioned it, because if I do this, it's going to be really far down the line. But, like, um, I don't know. There's there's really a lot that you could do with something like that. I just, uh, it's going to take, like, it's going to take me a long time to come up with that. So I'm going to, this is the version, I'm focusing on this version now. And then, like, that's, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, All right, so, uh, so, right, the new data is going to be, um, so, like, uh, so like uh, exp or like p exp this player's experience equals uh, p data read uh, dot split split on uh, what character space character I guess split on space character uh, and so wait what are you complaining about? Oh, because it's never get used. Ah, that's the that's the most annoying complaint. It's like yes, of course it's not used yet. I just wrote it. I just wrote it. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, oh no, 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 no. There is not a separate. There's not a separate account system. Cripes! There is never going to be a separate account system. That's the worst thing. Ugh, no. <laughs> like I said, I shouldn't have mentioned any of this. Uh, <laughs> Because it's really just like, uh, it's, it's like, there's, there's no reason to think that any of this will ever happen, but, um, it's, I just want, I don't know, I, no, I should not have talked about any of that. All right. (laughs) Um, so, right, our data won't just be experience points, it'll actually be, uh, it'll be experience points, it'll be level, and it will be, uh, the top gear as we're calling it. So, uh, I think it'll be in that order too. So, um, so to read this in, we can assume that there's at least going to be, uh, we can assume that there's at least going to be the first value because for all of them, like for the data that exists, there's just that first value. So we can say, uh, int, uh, P E X. Oh, my, uh, my bandwidth is flickering. I don't know. Hopefully it'll hold up, but if I cut out, I apologize. If I cut out, I don't plan on stopping streaming until later tonight, so if I cut out, I'm probably going to come back, like, really soon. Just, uh, heads up. Uh, <laughs> alright, so, uh, P, EXP, index 0. There has to at least be index 0. Uh, because if there's not, then there shouldn't be this data file at all. The other thing we'll check is uh, if uh, len uh, p exp uh, is greater than 1, then that means we have our full data, and so we can read that in too. So, uh, and we'll also want to put an else case, because if we, don't, if we don't have this data to read in, we'll want to populate it uh, up front basically to convert the old data system into the new data system. Uh, the other, the alternative here would be, I could just, um, uh, 
The alternative would be I could, uh... I could, instead of saving this as exp, I could save this as, like, data or something. And then, uh... And then I could, um... Oh no, you know what else? I could just save these as a separate file. I don't have to save this into the experience file. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so hold on. Undo, 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 undo. Nope, redo. Redo. All right. Um. Yeah. No. So there's a few reasons I'm gonna do this. Um. For one thing, we save experience a lot more than we save these other things. These other things. Uh. These other things um, will be uh, you. The these other things we only have to save when we level up. So, yeah, uh, that'll save us just with, with unnecessary like data writing and stuff. And and the other thing is these. This is only like the only reason I'm adding these things in. Like this isn't for the final version of the game that I'm adding this in. I'm just adding this in so that I can have more flexibility to edit stuff during beta and it won't be disruptive. So. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> so um all right let's uh uh <laughs> uh what uh so right what do i want to do instead the um wait this is the wrong why, why am i looking at this <laughs> I'm supposed to be looking at ad play right so now um Okay, so similar similar to this, now we're gonna do basically the same thing for uh Okay, so EF path equals uh equals uh uh name blah blah blah. What should I call this? Like I don't know, like uh uh stable uh This is like a temporary file. I plan on getting rid of it at some point. So I'm going to name it something stupid. Uh, <laughs> and Duram, hey, how's it going? <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I don't know. Stable is fine. Stable.txt. Uh, all right, so now we're going to do something very similar. Uh, except the else case is the weird one here. Because uh, in the in this else case we want to wait what what are you complaining about EOL while scanning string literal oh wait what oh oh wait what <laughs> what happened something terrible happened oh I pasted it in the wrong place that would explain it yeah all right there we go <laughs> right uh. <laughs> Um, all right. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, oh no! Kaminiak, what happened? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, right, so stable, so if, if it exists, then, uh, then now we're, so, uh, so right, so the p data read, uh, so like, I'll call it, I don't know, uh, s data equals uh, p data read. And so if it exists, then the first, the, uh, so the first line will be the, the first of the two things. Will be, oh yeah, wait, no, no, uh, s data dot read, excuse me, uh, dot split on the space character. It's so like I was saying, the first, the first one will be the, uh, <laughs> yesterday i was um i was carrying my laptop in one hand and i was carrying my my uh water thing in the other hand and uh i so i was walking upstairs like i was holding it like i don't know you can't really see them both on screen at the same time but i was like i was like holding i was holding it like this and i grabbed the doorknob with the hand holding the water bottle and i turned it <laughs> fortunately um I found out that my 
my laptop is a, is at least slightly waterproof. <laughs> Apparently, it can handle a little bit of water without uh, without breaking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's just a, just, it's just a really big water bottle. Like, this is how big it is compared to my face. Like, it's, it's, uh, I don't know, bottle doesn't really, bottle doesn't really, uh, cover it. It's like, it's like halfway between a bottle and a jug. Look at it, it's bigger than my head. I have a ginormous head. Look at, this, this is it compared to my, uh, laptop, or compared to my tablet. It's, like, bigger than my tablet. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, so if, if S data exists, then S data, uh, S data, uh, oh, you know what? No, I don't have to be clever about any of this stuff. I don't have to be clever about any of this stuff. Earlier I was like, oh, I have to be clever about stuff? That's going to be hard. But, um, no, I just, I was worried over nothing. All right, int, uh. S data zero. Uh, yeah. No, I can just ignore the if case. For now. For now. Huh. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. No, I do have... All right. Yeah, no, I do have to be a little bit clever. Ah, all right. <laughs> this is going to be fun. No, it's going to be tons of fun. I'm just complaining for no reason. All right, so the first thing, so level... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, not straight up. Right, 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 right. So, huh. Wait, this is the part where I have to do, like, the level calculation to figure out. No, I should, um, uh, so I'm going to say top, uh, level. All right, so I'm going to say top level and top equip. All right, for starters. Uh, this might be slightly redundant, but whatever. Uh. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, sorry, chat is just being hilarious right now. <laughs> all right. So, uh, uh, what is this? What is this player? P predict, uh, name dot top level top level uh, equals the inversion of the first half of this and then um, oops level with an e with two e's rather and then the second one uh, top gear I should call it top equipped because I'm I'm not a funny person oh I did call it top equipped very good <laughs> uh, equals it doesn't have to be converted to an int this one's actually a string uh, alright so Yeah. So what do we do with this now that we've loaded it in? <laughs> uh, I guess... Yeah, I probably don't need to save top level. Uh, but I'll... So I'll probably get rid of that in a second, but... Uh, one, th one thing I do need to keep track of is... Uh, exp offset uh, equals zero for starters because basically we need these two things to calculate experience offset but um, we don't actually need to remember top level once we've once we've calculated experience offset we don't actually have to remember it so yeah it's, heck with it I'm gonna get rid of that uh, <laughs> uh, so um, where were we? We're adding in players. Um, all right, so I'm gonna call it like T level equals zero, and then uh, T level uh, T level equals that, and then all right, so wait, what do you? That's fine. Stop complaining. I should just really deactivate that uh, that error because like it's never useful. <laughs> like I never care about that error. Um, all right. Um, so then, uh, 
Wait, why does this say pdict name experience equals zero? Oh, right, because I that was left over <laughs> from when I copy and pasted. Sloppy and paste. Uh, all right. <laughs> so now that we have this stuff going on, we can say we can say uh, if if uh, top equip. Uh, not equals not equals uh, blank string like if we have a top equip to, to work with then we can start calculating stuff so uh, so for um, we have to um, so we have we're keeping track of we're keeping track of I mean basically we want to do a reverse lookup in a uh, list is that is that is there a trick to do that? I was just going to do it manually. Python list reverse lookup. <laughs> Is that a thing? Uh, <laughs> inverse dictionary? No. Yeah, I, I think for the... Uh, for... Uh... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Zero Maverick. <laughs> I don't... um. <laughs> I don't have a, uh, I don't spend much time promoting the stream. Like, pretty much everyone who finds the stream finds it because I actually don't know how people find the stream. <laughs> I know, I know how you found the stream, Zero Maverick. Uh, what, uh, I, I'd be interested to know how other people find the stream. I assume most people find it just because it's listed in game development and people are browsing for game development streams, but I actually have no clue where, I have no clue where you guys come from. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm just happy that you're here. <laughs> uh, all right, so, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna do. Uh, so for, uh, so oh yeah, so, uh, uh, so what is this? Uh, so, eq or e lvl, e lvl uh, equals zero for uh, i in. Uh, len uh, oh yeah um, oh this is weird <laughs> so e uh, e level equals zero uh, e slot equals uh, equips index this thing <laughs> uh, dot slot I think is that how that works equipment oh cat egg oh yeah because it, it amused me to, uh, <laughs> to to call this cat egg uh, <laughs> um, oh wait, wait wait so yeah no I don't so yeah tell me if I'm crazy if dog then, uh, I have a list of, um, I have a list of, uh, yeah, all right, yeah, <laughs> thank you, Lauren, um, and Kimaniac, all right, cool, yeah, I assume that's where people came from, uh, <laughs> thank you again, everyone, for tuning in, I, I, I very much appreciate, uh, having you here, um, if dog then, um, so, what I, so in order to, uh, to blit equipment based on characters' levels, I, um, I have a list of, of like the the appropriate equipment for any given level, but what I'm what I want to look up here is like is what I'm keeping track of is the is the highest equipment that a player has unlocked, like the the most recent equipment unlock that this player has has gotten, and so I want to I don't want to keep a separate list of basically like the exact same list but with the indexes as the as the uh, as the as the values and vice versa, um, or like a dictionary or whatever. So, um, so I think I'm just, oh, wait a second. No, I'm a crazy person. I can keep this data easily in the, yeah, I can keep this data easily. Never mind. 
Yeah. So, well, before before it just occurred to me that I should change my approach, uh, <laughs> I um, I was gonna just take that list and I was just gonna blitz through that list until I found the the equipment and then I was gonna like use that index, <laughs> but um, uh, <laughs> um, uh, you know, be the worst. No, I'm not even going to go there. I was going to make a really disgusting sentence based on words that are all completely fine, but are very, like, the words like moist that, like, they're technically fine words, but, like, just, we should not be using them in, in language. I was reminded of that because of what Lazy Brussels Sprout said. But I'm not even going to do that because that, that sentence, I could, I could make a devastatingly awful sentence. Um, no, I'm, it's, it's not, it's not, a, it's not, okay, so, so what we're doing here of Dog then is, um, so, because the game's in beta, and I'm going to be, like, changing the game balance, and, like, sh cr everything's going to go crazy. Like, people, like, all the, like, like, I'm, I'm, I'm preserving people's data, but, like, but if I rebalance systems, like, I don't want people to backslide. So I'm keeping track of a lot of different things. I'm keeping track of how much experience the player has. I'm keeping track of how much or what level that experience total should have been worth the last time they played the game. And I'm keeping track of the, the highest um, experience, the highest uh, equipment unlock for that player. And I'm keeping track of all of these things so that like, regardless of how I shake up the game data and like the, how I rebalance the game, players will not backslide. They will not have to re-earn anything that they already previously unlocked. And so for each player, I'm keeping track of how far they have progressed through what is a much longer list of equipment and so yeah uh that's what i was doing it for but i don't care because i'm when i populate that list i'm just going to tag the equipment because i'm keeping a, i'm keeping this index of equipment anyway so i might as well just keep like i might have, i might as well just keep track of what level the equipment is um because why not right why not <laughs> all right um so, uh, yeah, equipment is just going to have a level now. Uh, equals zero. And then, uh, and then, uh, so yeah, where is it? Where is it that I go through the order? Right, so, uh, so no, the order, you're right. So when I'm going through the order, and I'm assigning outfit, to equipment, et cetera, et cetera, I'm also going to be, wait, DLI? What is TL? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Or one. Wait. DI. DI. Yeah. No, I'm just going to be assigning uh, DI. Wait, DI? No, I. Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> Max level. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Thank you, Zero Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what I didn't do. <laughs> that's exactly what I decided I shouldn't do. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, so if you so okay so let's say okay let's say you earn level twenty and level twenty is like the bow. If I decide that the bow is going to be come level twenty one and there's going to be the the new level twenty item is going to be like bracers or something like that. The reason I'm keeping track of both of these things is that if I only kept track of your level, then you would lose the bow and you'd have to earn the bow back. But the reason I'm keeping track of both of these things is that we'll know that you used to be level 20 and we'll know that you used to have the bow. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at with our fresh data, what is the, what is the value of the bow? The value of the bow is going to come back as 21, not 20. So we're going to say, oh, okay, we don't want to disrupt this player. We're gonna. We're just gonna say they're level twenty or level twenty-one. We're just gonna say they have because we know they have the bow, so they must be level twenty-one. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Doug. Then. Um. So yeah, I guess the uh, the end result is that if I add um, if I add equipment into the earlier part of the game, which I might do. I mean, that's why I'm doing this. If I had equipment into the earlier part of the game, you basically get a free level, just for fun. Just free level. <laughs> Here, have a free level. There you go. Enjoy it. <laughs>
Um, all right, so uh, <clears throat> you um, if you post links, I can see the links, and if you're sharing something that's not like awful, um, then I can repost the links. <laughs> um, yeah, if you have like a, a cool project that you you want to share with people, like if you're if you're making specifically if you're making a cool game project, but like I don't know, hypothetically if you're making other projects. Um, I, I can, I can do that, uh, because cool stuff is cool, and yay. <laughs> um, so, right, so, yeah, the, the, max level, yeah, max, I guess actually we, I mean, it seems funny to call it max level, but, um, really what we want to say is, uh, equips... DL Wait, equips DI, right? Equips Oh no no, equips DLI1. Yeah, equips DLI1. So this whole thing. Uh equips DLI1 dot level equals max level. It's called max level, but it's actually just level. Um because this is when we this is when we're calculating our max level, and we're using max level as our iterator, because by the time we're done iterating, the max level represents the max level, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, cool, so now equipment just keeps track of their level. So now we don't have to do anything like cray. <laughs> no. <laughs> wait, what was the question? Oh, hold on, wait. Lazy Rust I, I wasn't paying attention to Lazy Russell Sprouts links. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh. <laughs> All right. I I contributed to this conversation, so I'll repost this link. But um. <laughs> I would I would like to strongly encourage people. <laughs> I don't have the volume on, but I can see, I can see the video. <laughs> on the other screen and uh yeah <laughs> i would like to please encourage people to move the conversation back into a more private vein. <laughs> um if you would sorry Whew. all right <laughs> so now uh so now i called it level right i didn't name it something weird today equipment has a level right okay so now when we're uh now when we're adding players, we can just say much simpler, much more simply, uh, we can just say E level equals uh, equips, yeah, uh, dot level. So we are technically keeping more data, but whatever. We're doing it in a very convenient manner. So, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, Jeff. Hey, sorry, I missed, uh, <laughs> I missed, uh, I missed your entrance. Because people were posting funny links. But, um, welcome, best Yorick EU. Uh, I was never any good with Yorick. I tried playing Yorick, but, like, I don't know. It always seemed really tricky. Like, my, my York zombies always just, like, like, I always be like, zombie, quick, do a cool thing. And it was always like, I'm going to do an unimpressive thing. And st Anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, right. So I can get rid of this loop because we don't need this loop anymore. Uh, so, okay, so we have top equip. Now we have E-level and we have, uh, we have E-level and we have T-level, hypothetically. T-level might be zero. Or they might both be zero. And if they're both zero, then that's fine. We'll... Uh... Wait. Uh, my time zone is uh, Eastern Standard Time. I think it's like plus five on the whole magical time system. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how the whole magical time system works, but yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, 
Oh dear. The suggested videos. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, no fun, hey, <laughs> how's it going? Uh, oh wait, um, oh wait, oh sorry, I missed, were you talking to me when you said make a game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, that is yes, brilliant. <laughs> um, <laughs> I um, if I had a, if I had nobility points hooked up right now, I would probably give Caleb nobility points for that because that is, when people make a joke that I would have made uh, if I had been paying attention, then that is that is that is worth nobility points in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> um, nobility points uh, so yeah so my to-do list right now is uh, I need to finish the thing that I'm working on right now and then I want to do spontaneous name tags and then I don't know why I'm keeping two separate lists but then on my other list uh, nobility points is the other thing basically I just want a system whereby I can grant people points when I feel like it <laughs> <clears throat> I'm probably it's probably just going to be like one point it's probably just going to I'm probably going to limit myself because so, like if I if I, um, <laughs> if it's, uh, if I give myself the ability to go crazy with nobility points, I probably will, and I'll probably, like, give out way too many, um, so I'm probably gonna just do one at a time, but, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I would like that option, just cause, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> thank you, ladies and Russell Strands, <laughs> um, <laughs> So, uh, uh, <laughs> um, all right, so now we have the T level and we have the E level. So now we can say, uh, so like M level, uh, equals, uh, max. Wait, I know we can do max and minimum because I'm doing minimum in another place, but is it math.max or is it just max? Uh, min, it's just, it's probably just max because min is just min. All right, cool. Uh, so M level or M LVL, uh, equals, uh, max, uh, uh, between E level and T level. Uh, and now we can use max level to calculate how many experience points max level is. And if, uh, and then we can compare it to how many experience points the player is supposed to have, and then we can set we can change our uh, we can change uh, stuff accordingly. <laughs> um, so uh... <coughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, Caleb. <laughs> yeah, nobility points, the reason they're called nobility points is, like, basically, like, some people are really cool, like, some people in, in, like, chat are, like, just really cool people, and, like, I just wanted a way to, like, acknowledge that, so, like, I don't know, yeah, all right, I'll have to, be, I'll have to be judicious about it. I'll have, I have a little time to think about it, because I, I have to finish implementing this feature, and then I want to do spontaneous name tags, too. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> all right, hold on. This is, uh, all right, I haven't checked this out myself, but this is, uh, Zero Mavericks link, which, uh, should be cool. I'm going to add that to my list of things to check out. I have a big running list of, of things that I, I'm not going to check out on stream, but, um, I, I have them queued up so that when I'm off stream, I can, I can check them out. And I, I, that, I added that now to the list as well. So, uh, thank you, Zero Maverick. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, hey, Tellerax, how's it going? Welcome. Um, so, uh, all right. Yeah, we're almost there with this. This, this shouldn't be too much. It shouldn't be too difficult. Um, <laughs> all right all right 
<laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, I just thought of something. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. If I rebound to the experience points... Oh, yeah. Huh. Alright, so this system is going to be a little weird. Because there's one thing that could happen <clears throat> with this system that could make it seem like you're losing stuff. Actually, hold on. How do I want to deal with this? Yeah. I think there is a situation where it could seem like you're losing stuff. I think. Cause um I don't want it, I don't want this to be like uh No, how do I want to handle this? Alright, there are two ways I can handle this. Either happen when this calculation comes out is that your effective level, like your max level, like the level you're supposed to be, might be lower than the level that your experience would actually posit you to be. And in that case, we could either accelerate you so what we could do is we could just jump you ahead because this could happen in the case where I make leveling easier. Like if I make it easier to level up, then, uh, then I, there are two ways I could handle that. Either I could just teleport your character into the future. Like they, I could just automatically like magically grant those levels. Like ta-da, you're a much higher level. Hey, Tressox, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, <laughs> um, Oh, uh, what is, what is level? I thought I just look at the code, but it tells me that's the first character. <laughs> Wait, uh, T level. Oh, um, sorry. I use, I use a terrible, I use awful naming conventions. T level for me just means top level. So, uh, it's the, for me, I'm just, yeah. So it's not, it's not technical jargon. It's just, um, it's just me referencing the, so T level, the variable T level is, uh, the highest level that the player has ever achieved. Right, so I'm coming, I'm making, right now I'm adding in a thing where, uh, where the game can stay balanced, even if I, like, players, player's progress won't be interrupted when I rebalance the game. So, but, okay, so, so in the case where I make leveling easier, I can have two things happen. I could keep, I could use this, this, like, consistency to keep the player at the level, or, like, keep the player's, like, gear and progress, like, exactly what it used to be. Um, and, like, the thing about that is that, essentially, they'd be... I think this is what other games do. Like, okay, because let's say, like, so, let's say you're playing World of Warcraft, right? For example. And you get to level 90. And then they make it so that the level 1 to 90, like, goes faster. Like, they, they decrease the amount of experience needed to get from level 1 to level 90. Uh, what happens to level 90 player is that they're still level 90. So I could do that. I could make it so that, like that type of balance change like only helps people in the future it doesn't like it doesn't retroactively apply to people who had slogged through those those hard-earned levels back when they were harder to earn um but i don't know that i can maybe that like maybe that's the right thing to do because the alternative um if i if i slide it in the if i if i if i instead like just auto level the players to like much higher levels what happened? What would happen if I ever, um, if I ever uh, d instead dial back the, um, the, like swung back in the other direction? That's the case where it would actually like seem like they were losing those levels, because like I don't know, this is tricky. Yeah, maybe I'll do the. Maybe I'll just go for consistency. Maybe I'll just go for consistency. Right? That's what other people do. <laughs> That's what other games do. So maybe just consistency. Um, so, uh, yeah. So leveling there, leveling does have a factor in gameplay. Because, um, so I have the secret control panel. Like, this is my game. Uh, hey, uh, we got a new follower. Uh, Zarko76, welcome. <laughs> Thank you for following. I appreciate your viewership and your support. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Um, 
So the uh, so my I have a secret control panel. This is like how I control the game. Like uh, you notice that the game plays itself. Like uh, there are events that just occur spontaneously. But this is how I um, this is how I can uh, administer the the uh, the event system in the game. And one of the things that happens on this screen is that I get uh, I get data about what um, what actions players are taking. To, or, excuse me, what actions players are taking. And I get data not just how many players have taken a specific action, but I get I also get the um, I get data on the uh, the aggregate experience points of all the players who have taken action. So um, oh, that's another reason I can't do cyclical experience points. Is that well? I mean, I could still, but then I'd have to change the calculations there. Anyways, um, so yeah, so essentially the the end result is that higher level players blah, 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 higher level players have more, uh, have more, uh, they exert more influence over the game because, uh, because by having, by having a higher, like, let's say that there are 10 players with like two experience points. And let's say there's one player with 30 experience points. Like, even if all those 10 players choose it, like all team up, like they still only have 20 total experience points. So the one player with 30 experience points actually is like the winner kind of, <laughs> um, so in situations where like it's divisive, like when, um, you know, when it's when like when uh, you know it can go either way, uh, have, it, like it's, the the game will tend to go towards the players with the more experience points because like it will tend to go with the higher level players um, because it's easier for higher level players to to win a consensus that way. Uh, so um, so it's, there's never a direct correlation. Like it's never like oh you need the ice wand in order to defeat the fire mage or anything like that. It's never like it's never like you know you need a certain piece of equipment to do this. But there's a general correlation because um, because the higher level you get, the higher level experience or the uh, the higher your higher experience, the higher level you get, the more uh, gear you get, like the better gear you get. Like every time you level up, it's supposed to be an upgrade. Like it's you're never supposed to have like a downgrade <laughs> when you level up. So you're supposed to be you know getting cooler uh, stuff and uh, and then uh, yeah, and so that's that's how that's how that works <laughs> yeah. um so uh yeah yeah i think i'm gonna go for consistency because I, i'm not gonna do the cyclical experience thing or or else i'm gonna keep some manner of non-cyclical experience uh because uh Yeah, um, I, I like this. I think this is, I think this is the way to go. Because, yeah, th actually, that was a very well-timed question, Caleb, because I'd almost forgotten, like, how important exp the, the, the major experience number is in that, um, <laughs> oh, you have a pirate ship for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I can't explain that. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, um, <laughs> you have a pirate ship. Just go with it. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so, um, alright, so the, your maximum level is the, the your, is your M level is the maximum between your, the highest level you earned and the, the, the level of the highest equipment that you've unlocked. So now, from your M level, we can figure out what your experience points, oh yeah, no, there's one other thing that we have to do. Uh... Oh wait, where do we where are we doing level? Oh wait, we're doing we should be doing this first. Yeah. Uh alright, we actually yeah, right. So first before we do this, we should do um So up here. Wait, what is E level? Oh, uh, equipment level? Yeah. So um yeah, that's the other thing we should do, is, uh, I guess we can do it here. Yeah, why not? So, oh, no, no, we have to do it anyway. So, yeah, I might as well, I might as well do it, like, here. All right, so, uh, uh, X level is, uh, the level based on your experience points. So that is going to be this calculation here. And so this, this whole, uh, pedic name dot level thing is actually what we're going to be adjusting based on all these calculations. All right, so now, um, 
So, okay, so now we have X level as well. So now we can compare M level and X level to figure out basically what our offset is supposed to be. So, um, yeah, so, all right, so P dict, uh, P dict, uh, name. Oh, wait, hold on. 